Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James and today we're just taking a quick look at the Grounded demo that was released on Steam yesterday. So we got a little sneaky look at the new survival game from Obsidian Entertainment. As you can see I'll have a quick look at their back catalogue here. They're no stranger to making some decent games but this is the first time they've made something for an early access release or that I can remember anyway. Let's just jump into it and let's have a quick look at the settings that we got on PC. I ran everything on low and epic and I couldn't tell the difference in the game to be quite honest but I was happy to report that there is rebindable keys and a field of view slider so that's always good to see but not much in the display options and I didn't struggle to run the game or any issues to speak of but then again I only had half an hour. Now you only get a chance to play one of the four characters or the four kids in the game so I just jumped straight into it with Max. Okay so this is the start of the 30 minutes. This is the third time I've had a go so I know a little bit about what to do. I'm just going to speed through this. There might be a spoiler. I'm just going to show you the one story quest that I got given but classic survivor style. First thing you've got to do is just gather resources, fiber and you don't punch trees in this game. In fact, you don't punch anything at all to gather resources. You've got to make your axe first. So they're not going down that road. Now, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, you've got your food and hunger bar. And if we drink some dirty water here, you can see that our food bar also goes down. And we've got this yellow effect on us, but we can just grab some mushrooms to eat some more if we need to. It was right next to that puddle. So fairly close to where you spawn in, there's this resource analyzer that you find and it allows you to learn new things to craft from the things you've gathered. As you can see on the side, it says analyzer charges, two or three left. So we're only allowed to scan another two items and then it makes you wait 10 minutes. So that's why I can't really show you much and that's why they're giving us all half an hour we couldn't really learn much in this playthrough and now we've got to wait 8 minutes 41 seconds to learn something else so I think that this is how we're gonna to have to level up in the game as you can see now with this sprig if we can make some woven fiber craft a few of them and we're able to make axes and hammers classic survival game stuff. We're going to have to wait for this analyzer to charge up before we can learn any more recipes. So that was one of the things that holds you back on this demo. You're under a strict time frame. So they couldn't really give us much. In fact, you don't really last long into the night. Just over in the back here, you can see the grass is moving about and a spider's just at the back here. Now, I know I've got no chance against this spider. I saw in the Discord for Grounded when it was released, people were saying how to defeat the spider, but there's uh, absolutely no chance. It looked like the developer was laughing at everybody trying to beat it in the first half hour, so that's more of an end game creature there. Moving throughout the garden, we get to the first point of interest, and this is the first puzzle. So there is a spoiler here. By looking at it, you've got the three lasers. One's blocked by a blade of grass over here. So now that we've got the axe learned, we can chop that blade of grass down and allow that laser, for whatever it does, to be able to reach where it needs to go. And you can see this other one was breaking up in the light. So after completing this sort of first challenge, the game was effectively over then. And here we are over at that point of interest and you can see there's these mites chewing on the cables. So we can't kill these mites off and that allowed us to progress to the end of the demo.
so there you have it. It was just the one quest that we got access to. Not much more to show you in the world that we can do. I did go back to the multi-analyzer and I was able to craft a wall, but we can't do much more crafting because it takes the resource analyzer to learn a new crafting item. And of course we need a solar charge for that. So by the time the dark starts coming in, there's not really much more you can do in this very, very short demo. Again, this is early access and it's a demo, but here's a quick look at the map as well of the back garden. And it doesn't feel particularly large at the moment, but everything's subject to change and I haven't explored everywhere. You can't, it's too early game. And it does look like things get more dangerous in the night time. So there you have it. I did say that I would probably stream this one on Twitch on the beta test day, but being that it was only a half hour demo, I just thought I'd make a quick video just to say, yeah, I've had a little look and checked it out, guys. And I'm hoping that this shapes up to be a good co-op game. If I'm honestly speaking, Left 4 Dead is probably the last decent co-op game that I got. And if this works well with four of us on a team, then I can imagine it's going to be quite fun. But that's as much as I can say or show you for now. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.